In this video, we're going to pick foreign material out of a sample of wheat. Now, my equipment includes a pick, and what I did is I got a, went to a medical supply store and got a six-inch tweezer. I ground the round edge off to a point so that I could handle the kernels better. I also have a grading mat. You can get these from Seedboro. Uh, they're relatively cheap. You'll note that they've got your, your wheat kernels, the damage on how to pick them. Also, you've got your grades and standards on the front of that. And then you've got a nice, a nice buff colored area to pick on. Now, in picking foreign material, you want about 30 grams of wheat in the sample. In this one, I've got 29.2 grams. So I write it on my pad over here, and I pour the sample. I make a, a little stack or pile over here in the corner, and then I take my tweezers, and I get in, and I make a line of wheat. That way I can see the, the kernels and easily pick out the form material, and I put it in my pan here. Now I've got some rye in here. they got a little pointy end on them, and I've got some other non-wheat materials, looks like some vetch, oh, uh, another little uh, a seed there, more rye. And so I go through and I pull it out one line at a time, and that way you can go down and you can see these kernels, especially the rye kernels with the, the little pointy tips on them, and you can get all of those out of there, where if you're just kind of, you know, poking around in it, you're going to miss a lot of it. And after you've done this a while, you can start doing this relatively quick, lining them up, moving them over, spotting that rye, getting another line, going down through it. That one's clean. We got another rye there, rye here. And after you've done this a while, you can just go down through there, and that rye and the non-wheat materials, as you put them out in these lines, that's a little big there. I like to keep them where I, about one thick across here. This sample seems to have a lot of rye in it. So it's, and rye, as you know, is about the same size as wheat. Difficult to spot if you're just, you know, working around in a, in a pound, you know, in a pile of it there. When you're picking damage on the damaged kernels, you'll do it the same way. Now, when you're picking these out and you lay them out there, Well, a lot of rye in that line there. When you bring them out, if you'll shake them just a little bit, it makes them stand up on their belly there. And so they, they stand up and that germ is looking right at you. And you can spot non-wheat non material relatively quick. Move part of the pile back over as you go through. That way you can get into your non-wheat materials re relatively fast. When you're pulling these samples and pulling it out of the machine, you can spot that just kind of visually check the entire sample and you can see when you've got a problem, which I knew on this load that we had a problem. And so we needed to pick it to calculate that percentage foreign material in this wheat. Remember if you've got over 10% rye, and we're picking out other things besides rye here, but if you've got over 10% rye in the sample, then uh, you've got, uh, you don't have wheat anymore, you've got mixed grain. We'll see how this one weighs out. There's a, quite a bit of rye in it. Do you see those kernels jumping around? That's why you want a sharp point on your pick so that you can get a hold of those kernels relatively easy. Now I've got a wheat kernel here that's got husk on it. That's not considered form material and you don't take the husk off. Well, this last little line had a lot in it. There we go. Now you might kind of look over it just a little bit just to see if you missed anything. Then we'll weigh it back out. Looks like we got 1.6 grams. 1.6 divided by 29.2 is 5.5% foreign material.